Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail saying hello, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited today because I'm um, on to decorating my farm journal. So I'm going to uh, get right at it. Um, after this it will probably just be final flip through. Um, this is what I'm going to put on my cover. And you can probably hear me shaking my, my uh, stuff. And when I do this, because this is paper, I like to put a finish on it. I've already put some on. I usually do more than one coat. Um, but I just do a light. And I'll probably, woo, I, I usually do this outside. This is a matte finish. It it covers up and seals the picture. Now, sometimes these kind of curl a little bit while they're wet because it's only on one side, but when it dries, it, it lays back down again. So I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna get at this. I did put the rest of my signatures in, and I put the, uh, the doily um, over over this part and this is you know will be decorated some more um, I have all of my signatures in and I have everything figured out where it's going to go pretty much so we'll get started this is my uh, first um, there it is okay <laughs> I'm looking for my glue my first signature and I did put this book belongs to over here and I kind of figured out what I'm where I'm gonna put what so I'm just gonna get at it this one is a side pocket this is the one I did with the strips and I'm gonna put that in right along with the edge of the page now a lot of these things I made on camera but there were a few things that I did not there were some things that I had in my stash for example okay I'm gonna get this even Now this is something I made from a book from, it's the Hans Christian Andersen uh, from Czechoslovakia and I just love this picture. So I made an envelope out of it and then I made a journal card. I got this from an old book, The Old Hen Cackled and the Rooster's Going to Crow. It's a fiddling solo and vocal chorus. This was an old record and my little black and white girl with her with her chicken. So that's a journaling card that's going in here. And that'll go inside this pocket, but I'm going to let it dry first. All right. The next thing, I marked where I wanted things, is a fold out tuck that I made. Now, this is just a piece of scrapbook paper, and I believe it is eight by eight. And I folded it. You fold it in half that way, in half that way, and then you fold it in half this way. And then you can tuck those in, and it becomes a tuck that you can open up to journal on. Now what I usually do is I make it uh, a tuck by putting glue just on these two sides. All right, line that up with the edge kind of of the paper. Now, because this can come open, I usually like to, uh, to put a paper clip on it. I just had it on when I picked it up. <laughs> oh, great. This will go in here. I'll have to bring it back later. 
because I had the paper clip and now it's gone. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is my uh, flip, my fabric clip, and I'm going to put that right here. So it's opposite yellow and white page. Okay, but you can then lift this one up and right underneath it. So it's kind of a hidden spot until, unless you know you can lift it up. And that's going to go right in here. There. Okay. This is going to be a chunky monkey even with not having it's something on every page. There's a lot of room to write. Um, the next thing I have isn't done until, let's see, this page here. I made an over-the-top notebook. I took two of the journal cards and I attached them with a little gap in here with a piece of fabric. And then I made a little notebook, stapled it in this side and just covered this side so you can write on it. And then you just put this over the top of the page, like that. Okay, center, I put a little butterfly. All right. This one, I made this, which is made with a six by six, folded in half. This side, I took Project Life cards and put them together and made a little pocket where I have a journal card in, glued it on there, did a little hand sewing along the edge, and um, this is going to go um, over the page like this. Now you could clip that in, you could put, um, make it a tuck with, with uh, glue here, but what I usually like to do for these is I put some glue right in the center where it's folded. And then I can line that up with the edge of the, the page and it will stay there. Once the glue dries, I have a card that was from my stash. And then on this side, another journal card. Okay. All right. This is where I'm going to put this um, pocket that I made. And I decided I'm going to clip it in. So I have a button dangle. Um, on a paper clip. And I'm just going to clip that in using that that dangle. That was my take five challenge. Okay, pocket belly band. This one, oops, have it upside down. Gotta get it right. Made a little journal card for inside this envelope part that I made into a belly band. And of course it's a belly band, so I'm going to just put some glue on the top and the bottom. And sometimes when I have a belly band, I don't like to put it super, super tight in there. I like to give it a little bit of um, a spot to put the what do you call it? Um, I gotta get it straight though. Okay. So it's just like a touch so that there's some space in here to put something in. And I have this that is from my stash that I made um, from some ugly stuff, and that'll be going in there, but of course it's not dry yet. <laughs> hold that on but that'll be inside of there all right I 
made a couple of uh, library pockets out of the same type of um, uh, scrap of paper. You can. I'm going to put it on three sides just in case I decide to put something in the back or if someone wants to put it in the back. And um, for now, I'm just going to put that in like that. So it is open on the top. You could add something, but right now I just have a couple of uh, cards to put in it. And that's the end of the first signature already. I like having everything, lots and lots of things done. So this is signature two. Uh, this is one of my strip things that I cut off the other one and that I'm making into a tuck. It'll be going on the edge of this paper. So I need to just put glue here. And there are those two sides. Line it up. It doesn't have to go exactly on the edge, but close to it. And in this one I have a page that was like part of a, from the table of contents from that Czechoslovakian book. And it's, it's, from like 1914 or something like that so it has a beautiful color and I'm just going to slide that in as a journal page okay this is a little mini thing I made I made this a while ago it's it's just little one of those little circles I punched these little circles and I made it into um, you could fold these and loop it together and close it but for this little one I glued it and I left this open I have a square in the bottom that those these are glued to then I just made a little tag that goes in there and I have another one of the little good for one Guernsey milk and I am going to make this into a tuck nice and adhered tuck Right here okay and then I'm gonna slide these tickets in that I made these everybody was doing these for a while I think I showed those to you those will be going behind that another book pocket in this one it's the opposite fabrics that I used before. That one's going to go in here. I'll do the same thing. I'll do it along three in case you want to slide paper in here or something. Okay. I'll get that in. Like that. Um... I did have uh, this paper, just some piece of um, ephemera that I put on paper. Um, this is um, how you benefit from Farm Bureau services. I made that into a journal card. And this is a Rolodex card that I just added um, that rooster, <laughs> lecoq safety match. Okay, this little snippet that I had made. I do those like mask making. Okay, now my yo-yo belly band comes next. If you miss seeing how I made any of these, you can go back in the in the list and watch each each section if you haven't had a chance to do that or just watch the parts that you're interested in. Okay. So top and bottom, because it's a belly band. Get it on straight. And 
this uh, journal card is going to go in there and I think um, this paper this is something that I just printed off on paper come bossy come bossy here I am with my cup come give me some milk rich and sweet I will pay you well with red clover hay the nicest you ever did eat it was from one of the ephemera packs that I had bought Okay, um, this is something that I like to do sometimes. And what I did is I took a doily that was coffee dyed, and this is a heart. And I fold it up till this matches, and then I fold it in half, and I'm going to be putting this in here as a tuck. So I will glue it along this edge and then each of them under there. That's that same combossy little thing, but small. So I'm going to put this along the edge. And I think what I want to do before I do that is also put some glue in here. So that that will hold shut. I'm going to get it lined up right on the edge of the page here. Sometimes I do that with round doilies too, but this I had some I had some of the um Okay. To do the bottom now. I had some of the the uh, heart ones. So I thought I'll use that one. And I just decorated it up with some pieces of ephemera, a little yo-yo from the 30s. Okay. And when you do it like that, I now have two pockets. And put something in. This one. And... something behind like that and then on this side got the chicken ones these were um, a little golden book game that I found in a thrift store and I uh, just put that in to make it a journal card okay I did make a um, double-sided paper clip with a dangle on it and I just have um, one of those cards again stuck on this side and this side is um, a uh, it's actually circa 1900 but it's a repro from reproduction from 1989 it has for the Heinz company and on this side well, I knew I'd find it sooner or later this is the one that's supposed to be on that first. Page holding this shut. Oops. There, like that. Okay, back. Where were we? Okay, middle of that signature my other fabric clip is going to go in there. I just like to spread belly bands and fabric flips out into different um, different signatures. Oops, I hit my camera on <laughs> my head. Sorry about that. Okay. that's okay yeah we're okay so then you have your fabric flip so you can write underneath that this one has a feather okay now I, I really liked this page it had chickens on and stuff but on the back of it I got the chicken butt well I didn't like that so I made a top tuck to cover that up 
and I used just a piece of uh, book page, um, I mean scrapbook page, added a little bit to make it a little firmer on the top and taller, and put a little lace on there and a, and a button. And uh, that is going to get glued on, kind of cover the part where the chicken butt was. I didn't like that showing. And okay. And then I have a little duck card to go in there. All right. Getting fat already. This is the one, the envelope uh, that I made the the thing, the tag for in it, and made the little the little uh, tuck on the side for it. This is going to be glued in totally. on this page right here. One of my junk mail envelopes. All right. Take this out just in case. I don't want any of that glue to squeeze out and then get it get it on here. Put that back in later. Um, this side had a bowl. I didn't like the other side. It just didn't have anything good on it. So I covered it up with this cookbook page uh, cover. That was from good old days, a long time ago. You've had it for a long time. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have another over the page tuck here. Made it from, again, a six by six, decorated both sides. I'm gonna make it a tuck by putting here in the middle and um, you can put, put it on the bottom too if you want. You don't have to. I didn't on the other one, but this is the, your other option. And then you attach it down. Okay. Um, this was a page from a book, and it had the old wash tubs out for doing the laundry. So I'm going to just have that in there. And I have another paper that I had as a from a garden cultivator, and that'll be on this side. Hope I can finish up quickly because I only have about seven minutes left. Okay. Um is another thing I made from uh, an old envelope and you cut slits in it. It was from Pamela at the Paper Outpost and just decorated it up. I had on top of the envelope I put this, this scrapbook paper. This one's going to get just glued down. Okay, let me just put some little things in here. All right, food signature. Do 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 do. Time is coming up. Okay. This page I didn't like. It was this this uh, Le Farm uh, in French, and I didn't like this side because it was about the beach. So I sewed it together. I think I I showed you how I did that. And I've got a tag that I made that's going in there. I 
I made this, it's like a snippet, and I'm going to use it like a little, a little belly band. So I'm just going to put glue on both sides. And put it in the middle here. Use paper and fabric and a little duck button. And then I have a little guy here and... I could put another one in there if I want to. Okay. This is something I pulled from my stash. This is vellum. It happens to be from uh, Tim Holtz. And I just put it on a piece of cardstock and made it into a side pocket envelope. glue the whole thing down. I had these in my stash too. I did it with a mask making one day. Okay. And for inside of this one, I have one of the Hamilton Manufacturing Company warranty cards. I sell these in my Etsy store. Sometimes I decorate them. This one I just decided to leave, and you can um, use it as a journal card. It has the name of the people who bought the washer or dryer or whatever on it. I just thought those were kind of cool. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. Middle of the third signature has a sun. This is a little paper clip. I didn't make this one two-sided. Put that on there. Have a little green pea envelope with a little, I love that picture, a little girl feeding a pig. And this is just a piece of paper uh, about crops and things. It's an old advertising thing. And that's just going in there. trifold that I made. Actually goes on to this side. It'll be like this. So I don't want to put put it all the way down to the bottom of the top because I have it a little bit smaller. dry but this is the one that it'll open up like this or like this about fabric tack you can usually kind of rub it off if you do it soon enough okay um, this talked about if I only had a home sweet home and I had this these words from the scrapbook uh, paper so I made a tuck a top tuck on little book page chevrons oops I'm hitting my head again and now I've got a tuck that I can put something in like that double sided paper clip <laughs> I'm throwing it <laughs> I'm trying to hurry um, Farm Bureau Co-op Chicken and another poultry one put it on this ad page 
and I have another from Tires, uh, an old postcard. This has a, uh, a dangle made with beads on it. And then here I have um, a, uh, it's just a piece of ephemera that you can write on the back. The last pocket here gets this one that we made earlier. And that is the end. I've got a little pocket ledger. This came also with the ephemera. And I just made a little booklet and sewed it together. I think I'm going to, and I, this one I was going to put in the front cover just so something's everywhere. So, it's a chunky. I haven't decided how I'm going to tie it together. Probably a ribbon. Oops, this doesn't, it goes out though. And I'll, when I come back, I'll do a final flip through and you'll see uh, the cover finished and with the closure. So that's it. Ooh, and I made it. Carol from Friendly Coil saying bye. Come back to see the final product.